Cloak and Dagger scholarship long ago exhaust, exhausted its credibility with scholars and laymen alike. The two Cincinnatians seem to know what the scroll committee forgot. That the scrolls and what they say about the common roots of Christian Christianity and Rabbinic Judaism belong to civilization, not to a few sequestered, sequestered professors. A more electrifying revelation was soon to follow on 22 September the Huntingdon Library in California disclosed that it possessed a complete set of doc photographs of all unpublished scroll material. These had been entrusted to the library by Betty Bechtel of the Bechtel Corporation who had commissioned them around 1961, having learned of the photograph's ex existence. Members of the international team had demanded them back. The Huntingdon, Huntingdon had responded with defiance. Not only did, did the library make its possession of the photographs public, but it also announced its intention of making them accessible to any scholar who wished to see them. Microfilm copy copies were to be offered for as little as ten dollars. When you free the scrolls, said William A. Moffat, the library's director, you free the scholars. Again, of course, members of the international team kicked up a rumpus, this time more petulant than before. Again, there were charges of the theft of scholarly work. One independent professor replied, however, that most people will regard the Huntington as Robin Hood's stealing from the academical privilege to give to those hungry for knowledge. Amin Drory, head of the Israeli Antiquities Authority, accused the Huntington of sundry legal transgression transgressions, even though the photographs had been taken long before the scrolls passed into Israeli hands as spoils of war. Megan Broshi, director of the Shrine of the Book, spoke darkly of legal action. action. The Huntington stood its ground. There's either freedom of ac access or not. Our position is that there should be unfettered access by that time, released of the photographs. Was already a fate accomplished, and any attempt to reverse the process would have been futile. It's too late, the Huntington decla declared its done. Do on 25th September, the Israeli government gave away, carefully distancing <gasps> itself from Drawry's and Broshi's pronouncements. Drawry and Broshi were said to have been speaking as individuals, not as representatives of the Israeli government. Yuval Naiman Israel's Minister of Science issued a press statement asserting that every scholar should be granted free access to examine the scrolls and publish his findings. 
it is fortunate that this opportunity has now become feasible through public expo exposure of the scrolls photographic collection. 